We all know Adam and Eve, and we all know Cain and Abel. But who was Cain's wife, and why does that matter? Both Cain and Abel grew up to serve God, but they served God in different ways. Cain's ways weren't as favored by God as Abel's were, and Cain grew envious of Abel. So, when Abel wasn't looking, Cain, out in the middle of a field, killed him. He snuck up behind him and killed him. The murder was discovered, and God cursed Cain. He was cursed never to gain anything from his work in the ground, and he was told to live somewhere else. He was driven from his homeland, so he went to live in the land of Nod. And then, boom, Cain made love to his wife, and she gave birth to a son, but where did she come from? Here's why it matters, and why it doesn't. Clearly this is an issue because of the assumptions that can come from it. An article from 2015 makes the case that this is a glaring error in the Bible. It says, Adam and Eve were created, and they gave birth to Cain and Abel. Only four humans existed, so there's really only two possibilities. Either the story of creation is just wrong, and the article kind of assumes that, or Cain made love to Eve, his mother? First, I'll address the second point. There's no way that Cain married Eve. She had just been married to Adam right after being created from his rib. And God made it clear that one man and one woman were part of a marriage. So why would he break that up just to make it so that Cain could marry Eve? And about the first possibility, it's really not a possibility here because the story of creation doesn't hinge on this detail. It's not like we say that we don't know who Cain's wife is, so all of a sudden all of Genesis is wrong and all of the story of creation is wrong. So if there's only two possibilities and one of them isn't a possibility and the other one can't be a possibility, where does that leave us? I'm glad you asked, because there is a third possibility. Incest. It kind of goes like this. Adam and Eve had Cain and Abel, but they had an unnamed daughter somewhere, so that daughter was Cain's wife eventually when he went to the land of Nod. So then, therefore, since Cain is the only way that humanity goes forward, all of us are a product of incest? First, some details. One, Cain and Abel have no defined age. Two, they were said to be independent farmers, so that assumes they have some kind of grown-up age because they wouldn't do that as children. Three, the Bible says that Adam and Eve went on to have many more children, and so we can assume that they had more children by the time Cain and Abel grew up. Four, it also says that Cain was afraid that someone was going to murder him because he had murdered Abel, and so that would assume that other people existed because there would be no need for it if no other people existed. So that leads us to the point five, which is naturally that Cain's wife had to be either a daughter or maybe a granddaughter of Adam and Eve. So it is incest, but isn't that terrible? Now, before I get dogpiled, I'm not saying that incest nowadays is good. It's not. But there's a few details that differentiate the creation story from nowadays, and here's what they are. Adam and Eve weren't like people today. They were physically perfect. Adam had been made from the dust of the earth by God's hand, and Eve had been made from Adam's rib by God's hand. So there's no way they could have been imperfect if they're made by a good God. So Adam and Eve are perfect human beings, and we can assume that Cain and Abel either had perfect bodies as well, or they had just a few little defects, because by that time sin had entered the world. As a side note, Sin is anything that's apart from God, so it does include immaterial things like thoughts, but also other material things like diseases and defects. Cain and Abel came into the world after sin did, so it's reasonable to assume that they had some kind of deviation from God's perfect design. And as those descendants got further and further from Adam and Eve, more and more defects happened. But incest wouldn't have been a problem until much later, which is why that law was implemented in Leviticus 18. Frustrating as this might be, it still is something from the Bible that we can trust, given the evidence that we have. But if you want to see things that aren't from the Bible, click here. And if you want to see things that are from the Bible, but get mangled by people who don't know what they're talking about, click here. Either way, I'll see you next time.